do it? Yes, we can! Promotion, promotion, we aim to help young people to express themselves! Once upon a September, 15 mastermind teenagers came together in the small town of Tralee. This elite force was called Emotion Promotion. This is what we did. The first mission was to hack into the mind of the feared unexpressionables. They said it was impossible. Well, asked 111 hours later of pure silence, we had proved them wrong. Next, we targeted an unsuspecting local fashion show and hijacked the interval with our own supernaturally expressive performance. She's nothing like a girl you've ever seen before. Nothing you can compare to your neighborhood. I'm trying to find the words to describe this girl without being disrespectful. Meanwhile, we constructed the indestructible wall of happiness and conducted a drama workshop. We also caroled our superhuman souls off for various local charities. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, hey! And collected much needed toys for the local hospital, just in time for Christmas. We wanted to do something major, so we decided to publish a national book for charity, which would inspire people to think positively. But we need some celebrities. Hello? Hello? Is that Brefley? He wants to be in our book. with our teachers, but due to the tragic death of one of our fellow students, we cancelled it as a mark of respect. As a group, the most important part of YSI is seeing the change in our fellow citizens and knowing that because of us, they'll never be the same. But the story doesn't end here. We still have our very own book for charity, Headstrong, which will be published by Hashit Ireland. And after our trip to the YSI Den, pitching our idea to start a timetable class to promote positive mental health in our school, we're sure it'll be a huge success, thanks to the 700 euro the Dragons gave us. Just as every superhero story goes, Mission accomplished! To be continued! Fantastic, love the t-shirts, very expressive. Um, just a couple of questions. Am I right in thinking you were actually all silent for 111 hours? Well, 11 members of our group stayed silent. This was, this was very important. It was part of our initial research, actually, because as a whole group, we felt we were very lucky. We knew how it felt to express ourselves, so we really wanted to get into the booths of, of people who didn't. So we stayed completely silent. We gave up all our extracurricular activities, and um, I think it really helped us. We, it identified the challenge for us, and then we, from the, 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 during the year, we were then able to continue with all the activities, and this really helped us. I'll, I'll hand you over to Kira and to talk about dur that. Dur during that period of silence, what did you find was the most challenging or most frustrating aspect of not being able to speak or to express yourselves? It was, it was very difficult, but mm. we, like, we were very challenged. We had to write down what we were feeling in a notebook, and we weren't allowed to talk to anyone, not even our parents, and that was very difficult coming home and not being able to speak to anyone. But by the end of the week, we had grown so close as a team, it was unbelievable, and it really helped us to build in our confidence. We, everyone was saying it was impossible, but after the week, like nothing was impossible for our group, and we just achieved so much throughout the year since then. And like we built yeah. a happiness wall. We got, a hundred, we got all the students in our school to draw a picture of something that made them happy. And then we stuck them all together and it's hanging in our GP area in our school and it says, be happy, make others happy. And it makes you happy when you go in in the morning and you go into school and it brightens the place up. And we've done a drama workshop as well. I think the silence really helped us 
see what the problem was and all our activities then we could do to, to change this problem. So we ran a drama workshop for first and second years and um, we put on a drama. It was basically the character was suffering from depression. We held a workshop afterwards. I mean, we've done so much and we're planning a book as well. So fire it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. Thanks okay. a million, guys. Well Thanks done. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Excellent.